In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the high key photo effect in Photoshop. So the image on the left is my original still life photo that I took on a white background. The image on the right is the finished photo after I worked with it in Photoshop. So you can see over here in the layers panel that I actually have two levels adjustment layers and I have two brightness and contrast layers. So let me minimize this and let's get started on this original. So as we do with every photograph that we're going to print or put on the internet, we're going to go to the adjustment layer button and we're going to check the levels. So in this case we can see that the line over here in the white area is completely flat. So we're going to bring the white slider over and it's completely flat down here on the black end. So we're also going to grab the black slider and bring that in. Because this particular photograph has a blue tint to it, I'm going to take the white eyedropper and I'm going to correct that blue by clicking on the brightest area of the photo, which I think is right about here. Depending on the lighting situation where you took your photo, you may or may not have to do that step. You can see that this is much improved now. The blue cast is gone. What I'm going to do next, you normally wouldn't do to your photographs, but I'm doing it to create an artistic effect later on in the sequence. So I'm going to grab the gray slider and I'm going to move the value somewhere between 2 and 3. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I'm going to lighten the midtones and the highlights. So I'm going to estimate maybe about 2.03 for this particular image. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is click the background layer. On the keyboard, hold down Control A, that's select all. Control C is copy, and Control D is deselect. Now also on the keyboard, hold down the Alt key and click this little white rectangle here in the Layers Adjustment panel. So when I click that, it temporarily fills this window with white. Now on the keyboard, I'm going to hold down Control and push V and it pastes a black and white version of my photograph on top of that layer mask. So what that's going to do is shield the dark areas from washing out during some future steps that I'm going to do in this process. So hold down control and hit D to deselect that. The next thing that I'm going to do is add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. So down here, open up the menu and choose brightness and contrast. I'm going to move this somewhere between 50 and 75. Depending on your particular image, you'll have to judge where you think it should be. So I'm going to go for about 54. All right, the next thing that you're going to do is add another adjustment layer and this time it will be levels. So to bring out the richness that we lost in the dark values, I'm going to take this black slider and I'm going to change the value to somewhere between 10 and 20 depending on your image. So I just want those to look a little bit um, more saturated. I'm going to say 15 for this particular photo. Now here on the white end, 255 is actually 100% white, and I don't want it to be quite 100% white. So I'm going to take this slider and I'm going to drag it somewhere between 235 and 250, depending on what looks good for this particular image. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to go for 247. Alrighty, so the next step is to add the second brightness and contrast adjustment layer. So back down here to this button, 
go to brightness and contrast and this time I'm going to hold down alt and again click on this little white rectangle to fill this with white then on the keyboard control V to paste that black and white copy in there again and control D to deselect. Now on the keyboard I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to click on this icon on the left on the very first levels adjustment layer. Make sure that you're clicking exactly on this one nowhere else otherwise it won't um, work correctly. Whoops. I should have said um, I was holding down control that was a mistake. I need to hold down alt and then click on this little icon here. Okay there we go. I had to click it twice for some reason it turned pink first but it fixed um, the second time that I clicked it. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is take this original gray slider which I set for 2.03 and I'm going to make the midtones a little bit brighter by dragging the slider over to the right a little bit. So, I want to bring back some of those midtones. I'm going to say for this particular image, that looks good right there. So this is my finished image. What I'm going to do now is save it. I'm going to save it as a PSD so that it still has all of these layers available if I ever want to change it again. I'm going to save it as a JPEG and make it a small size so that I can put it on my internet. Then in a couple of weeks at the end of this unit, when I'm deciding which photo I want to print for my final photograph, this might be the one that I choose. So if I choose this photo, I'm going to go back to my Photoshop document that's full size and has all of the layers in it, and I'm going to use that large copy of this project to change the, um, change the size of it to save into the print folder. So if you're confused by any of how to do any of that, go back and look at the old videos, ask someone in the class, or ask me. That's it for now.